In this section, we will create a working search form. When we edit the routes file to include a search route, we will create a search method in the, in the articles model file that takes a search parameter, which will be forwarded to the database in our articles table to look for and return the articles containing the search word. We will also create a search action, a corresponding search view, and we will be tracing through some errors. Let's get started again. Alrighty, let's go and open up your terminal. And as usual, I'm enlarging the terminal window and CD into your projects directory. So I type CD ROR projects slash blog. Oopsie, blog. And then I will type Adam space dot to open up my text editor. Open up a new tab. Okay, let's go back to the terminal and then make sure you're in the same directory and type rails space s to start the server. All right, so go back to your text editor here and you will now go to the config folder and open up routes.rb so we can create a routes for our search words. So under resources here type collection do and then I ended it here and then type get space colon search. Okay. This creates a new path that will be used for our search input. So I put a little comment in here for myself. Creates a new path for the searching. R. That's okay. Save it. And remember that we used to do when we create new routes, we can in the terminal type something called rails routes or rake routes to display our routes. So type rails routes. Alrighty, it's thinking. Okay, oh, so I have a mistake somewhere and it's wrapped around the text. So I'm just going to uh, clear the window and do it again. So I will, I will just do rake routes. Now I made the window a little, uh, text a little smaller and I enlarged the window so it won't wrap around now when the error is displayed. I will still get an error. All right, so let's scroll back up and start reading from the beginning of the rake routes input. All right, there we go. Unexpected keyword end. Okay, so I, I see. When I type do, it automatically generated an eight end tag. So I didn't need that one. So I just commented it out. Go back to your terminal, type clear. And here, do rake routes again. Now all should be working fine and we will see what route it, this, it created. Perfect, okay, uh, here search underscore articles. That is our new path and it corresponds to get verb and it tells us that in the articles controller we will be needing a search action. Perfect. All right, so now you're gonna go to, in the app folder, go to the model folder where it says models and open up article.rb. Okay. In here we will create a method that will be communicated with our articles table in the database. So here type def and then type self.search parentheses params and Underneath here, type articles. Oopsie, misspelled here, articles. There we go. Equals article with capital A dot 
where parenthesis and now we will do some SQL command in here type body space like question sign I will explain in a second what this means then type or title like question sign the body and the title corresponds to the columns in the articles table so these are SQL command that we look for our search input and here type double quotation type two percentage shine type a pound sign and then curly brackets and in here type params um, we need square brackets and type colon search okay and get rid of this I haven't had an automated generated extra curly brackets cool um, the comma needs to be a, a comma there and then again two percentage signs pound sign curly brackets and in here params square brackets search so we did this twice separated with the colon this is because we have it's searching through two columns right so one of these params search corresponds to the body column what is will be searching for a word input and search word and the second one in the title column and I misspelled here is called title t-i-t-l-e there we go so we want all this to happen if so here type if and again params square brackets search colon search within the square brackets dot present question sign so if there are any search words present then do all this and return the articles that contains these search words or the search word so we have a whole little thing here in a in a conditional statement that if a search word is present it goes and looks through the the tables and then return the articles containing those search words All right now go to the controller and go to the articles controller and open up we will now put in our search actions under here under the edit action type def search and then we need the if statements here too basically one that says if params square bracket colon search and then we here say dot blank question sign so if our search form is blank what do we do then then we basically wanted to return all articles so type at articles equal capital A article dot all now this is exactly the same as in our index action for the list of articles being returned okay but if the search form is not blank so here else we wanted to return at article equal article with capital A oops I misspelled their article capital A, dot search parenthesis and params within here so it will be passing the search parameters okay that's it and then we need to end the if statement so the if statement has an end and the action definition has an end so now over my ends match up all right now go to let's see 
actually go to the views folder and to the navigation partial. Okay. This is where we have the form. Comment out, out the regular HTME, HTML code here. I want to keep it so I can see it because we will be using the class styling, the CSS styling, right? And here, open up the Ruby syntax, less than sign, percentage sign, equal sign. We will define our form here. So type form underscore tag. Then we need to be passing the path. So go to the terminal and let's look at the path again. And we need this search underscore articles underscore path. So type search underscore articles underscore path. And then we need the method. And here we need method colon get because we want to fetch something. Remember, we can have post too, but we don't want that. We want to fetch something from the database and close the Ruby syntax. And with this is a do loop actually because it might be looping through several articles that they it will dis be displaying. So let's close this do loop right away. And remember the end of the do loop does not need the equal sign. And let's put in a text field. So Ruby syntax again, less than sign, percentage sign, equal sign, and then space, type text underscore field underscore tag. And now you need colon search. This is our object that's going to take the input word. Comma, type nil. This is a place where a text field automatically has a value. And we don't want to pass any value in here. We just want it to be empty for now. Okay. And then type comma, placeholder. So type placeholder. And then within quotation, type search. All right, and let's put in the class here now. Okay, so let's take the class form for the input form, copy that. Copy this and paste it in afterwards. And then replace the equal sign with a colon. Okay, and close the Ruby syntax. And then we need a submit button. So less than sign, percentage sign, equal sign. And type submit underscore tag. And I forgot an R there. Maybe you caught that already. And here, within quotation type search and then a comma and let's go and copy the styling from the search button in the HTML code. So copy that and paste it in and replace the colon with an equal, uh, replace the equal sign with a colon <laughs> and close the Ruby syntax. Okay. All right, let's go to the save everything and let's go to the browser. Right? And here in the address bar, type localhost colon 3000. Mm -hmm. All right, save everything. Okay, good. All right, so that looks a little bit out of whack, um, but we fix that later. So uh, go to the blog list of articles and let's just put in a search word. It's not going to work, but let's just put in something here. We will be tracing through a series of errors now and that was not expected. Uh, it should not show the authentication prompt, but I know why that happened. Go back to your text editor and to the articles controller. Remember when we did the authentication, we did some exception here on top. So it authenticates everything except for the index or the show page. So ne we need to put in an exception for the search as well. So comma, colon, search. All right. Go back to the browser and refresh. Okay. 
and then just take away uh, just hit the back button refresh it again good all right so now the search form is empty so let's type lorem again we will get an error again not the error i expected but the error is in the article model because it says body and title for the like commands to the articles table so go to the text editor to your article dot rb file and oh i forgot a comma right there did you see where i put it in right so go back to the browse and refresh delete everything after the articles refresh the browser and here okay um let's put in a text there we go this is the error i wanted missing a template so remember we created a search action but the search action needs a template for it to work okay but beforehand let, let's fix the navigation bar first okay so go to the navigation partial and just put in a div tag here and then for the form class just copy this here and paste it in and then end the div tag after the end statement of the do loop save everything go back to the browse and refresh good perfect now everything looks exactly the way we wanted it to all right now let's go to the articles folder in the views folder and let's create the search dot html dot rb file or erb file so with the right mouse click i i selected new file and then i name it search dot html dot erb good all right and this is going to be super easy in your articles folder open up index.html.erb and this is exactly the text that we need in our search file so all you're going to do is copy everything here so copy everything here and then go to your new search file and just paste it in okay there is one thing that occurred to me and that is that it's called article um, so when it searches through the body of the text it doesn't it isn't called body the title of that column it's called text let's go to our let's go and check that out so go to your db folder under the config folder so go to your db folder and then open up the schema.rb so now we're tracing through some verifications here all right and sure enough the title of the the body for an article is called text that is the title of that column so go to your article.rb file and instead of having body like it needs to say text like because these the text and the title corresponds to the titles of the columns in the articles table all right back in the browser and refresh we have moment of truth type in something in the search i type lauren hey it worked i hope it worked for you too okay so i typed in lauren and everything with lorem came up okay go back so you can hit the oh oh okay i scrolled down well that's a little bit out of whack down there but that's just styling and can be fixed quickly you see you have a space now there below underneath the footer but hit the blog button again or the blog link and let's try something else um Let's try something with a word that would show more than one article. Let's type in image in our search bar because we have two articles named image in the title. So type image, hit search. Oh, perfect. So both of those articles showed up. All right. So a couple of more things, then we're almost done. We don't need this create new articles and we don't need it to say home button below so let's go and edit that out i will close a couple of files here that i don't need don't need index don't need schema in our search 
within the p tag the link to create new article just delete that and let's create a new header title so it could just say something list of uh, actually list of articles you search for or something a list of articles matching search words actually let's say list of articles matching your search word that looks perfect okay and let's scroll down and let's fix that bottom home button to just to say back to all articles instead so here type back to a uh, lowercase a there to all articles and then we need to change this path as well I think this is called article path, but let's check our routes in the terminal window again. And then, yes, article. I think that is the one we need. So we need to say article underscore path. Save everything. Go back to the browse and refresh. Um, okay. Oh. It actually is not article path. I'm pretty sure it will be articles path. But check it in your terminal window again. Yes, articles path. Articles path corresponds to the list of whole article, all articles. The article just corresponded to the show page. Hmm, perfect. All right. Um, so let's just try a few more things here. Let's do all because that is in the body of the text, not the title. Hit search. Perfect. It showed up. Let's let's try will. If you don't have the same words, you try your own words. Good. All right. These two showed up because okay. Let's try two words. I would try lorem ipsum. That should work just as well. Great. All right, so we are actually done. I'd like to trace back everything what we did first. So let's go to our, um, in the config folder, go to the routes. Okay, so this is what we did first. We created a new route the course could correspond to a collection of objects. This is what it does actually. Then in the article.rb in our model folder we made a new model method that passed the search word into our uh, or into the articles table and we matched it with um, SQL commands for the two titles of the columns. We then went to the articles controller and we created a search action that if the search um, uh, form is blank it, replace, it shows all articles. If not it will display all the articles with containing the search word. And then in the navigation partial the text field, this search here, this is an object that takes the search word that we are inputting. So f in our browser, we then maybe type something like lorem. And this is what this colon search takes and then passes through the whole pipeline and goes to the database and fetched what was needed. All right, time for some Git stuff here. So let's, in your terminal, clear everything. Type git status. Um, let's clear it again. And then do git space add space dot. All right. And then type git commit dash m. Single quotation. Um, and then let's just type what we did. So I'm, I'm just going to type created a working search 
button um, maybe something else by uh, no actually button you could technically say form but that's okay I know what I mean so we we'll leave it at that okay do you get status again on branch master nothing to commit cool we're done I see you next time have fun bye bye <laughs> Get me a